So you're thinking about moving to Roy, Utah? In this video, we're gonna show you all around Roy. One of the reasons locals love Roy so much is because of its family-centered and close-knit community. Again, it's really close to Hill, Hill Air Force Base as well. So if you're looking to relocate because of a PCS or a job transfer, we can for sure help you get to one of these cities nearby like Sunset, Clinton, Clearfield, Layton, or Roy like we're in now. So if you check the description box below, we'll link our other videos on some of those other cities. So Roy is here in Weber County, just to the north of Sunset, which we talked about um, in our last video. And it's west of Interstate 15, which is our main freeway that runs throughout Utah. It's got a nice, quiet suburban feel with a lot of local stores, restaurants, parks, and a nice new library with a lot of activities for kids. Another thing the locals really love here is all the local uh, grocery stores. So Harmon's is a Utah-owned grocery store, so they have them really throughout uh, Utah, but one of the ones we're here at today is in Roy, obviously, and I love this Harmon's because it has like gelato, um, they make their own fresh donuts, and it's not just like your normal bakery, like this one actually has like um, a buttercream maple donut, which is super good. So if you're in the area and you like maple, I would try that out. It's a little bit lighter than, you know, your other maple, but Harmon's also does like local um, culinary arts classes. So if you want to take you know, an art class with the family or your spouse or something like that, um, they do have that option there as well. Yeah, so again, Roy, like we said earlier, is in Weber County. It is, again, one of the more affordable cities in Weber County, um, which is awesome. It's a great option for people, you know, in that starter home range or kind of the move down range. It's um, got a lot of great options for homes and uh, if you stick around until the end, we'll take you through some neighborhoods and show you some different price points of those different homes so you can see what may fit with your budget. If you watch until the very end, we're gonna take you to some local restaurants in the area, including the Burger Bar, which was actually featured on Diner, Strive-Ins, and Dives, which I love that show. If you watch that show, it's so cool that we had a local restaurant featured there. And the reason they featured them is because they do really, really unusual burgers of the month, which we'll show you later. So let's get to it. first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in northern Utah and cities like Roy, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in northern Utah. We are Sloan and Kim Peterson with the Peter Series. So we get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to northern Utah and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to Northern Utah. So you might notice that we're in different outfits. So as we were doing some of the editing, we realized that the wind we were talking about um, was a little bit more windy than we anticipated. So we wanted to come back and reshoot this. So as we were saying, we're here in Roy, Utah today. Roy is a city about 32 miles north of Salt Lake City. Uh, we are again really close to the Hill Air Force Base. So if you do work on base, a lot of people really like to opt to live in Roy because it really offers that convenience. You're not uh, in, in as busy of a city as Layton per se, um, but you're still very close to uh, the base there. Roy City is in that Ogden metro area population that we have talked about in our other video. Um, it has a total population of 738,000. Roy City itself has a population of roughly about 40,000 people. And then again, uh, here in Roy, you're about 30 minutes away from the airport. So again, it's really not too big of a commute if you do travel. Roy is one of the older communities in the area. 
but it is all well kept. There's a lot of pride of ownership around as you'll see throughout the video. And there's not too much new development really going on in Roy. So it does have a lot of that mature landscaping and a lot of the bigger parks around here. And it really just has that community, a lot of community activities um, that are going on. Like right now they have Roy days and just a few things they do uh, to really be involved as a community. Yeah, <clears throat> one of the main draws is that um, Roy is in Weber County, but has a really different feel to a lot of the other cities in Weber County. It's more suburban, it's more community, oriented I know that's a word we keep saying but that's really the feel of Roy it's just that community feel it's got a lot of activities going on for the community to come together um, we are here at a park just right behind Roy High School and it's one of the many recreation areas in Roy um, so there is like a Roy Aqua Center just close to us here um, like we said we're right behind the high school there's this be big beautiful park here um, in regards to Roy houses, like we said, they're more on the affordable side of housing in Utah. Um, it's got all kinds of styles here, your starter homes, tri-levels, split entries, and move up homes um, with more square footage and land. So it's great because it's a suburb, super close to Ogden, which is the more downtown feel. So if you want a night out, you're like a 10 minute drive away from downtown Ogden. Um, so you kind of get the best of both worlds here. You get that nice community feel, literally 10 minutes away from downtown shopping, nightlife, all that jazz. Um, so now we're gonna head out and check out some homes in the Roy area around the 400, 600, and $800,000 price points. So you can see um, what your budget will get you here in Roy. All right, so let's go ahead and get after it right now. All right, guys, we are here at the first house. It is kind of that typical Utah starter home, tri-level style, um, which is typical for all of Northern Utah. It's three beds, one full bath, 1148 square feet. So it is on a little bit on the smaller side, which makes it that um, great starter home, which really adds to that Roy community feel. A lot of families here, first time home buyers, people PCSing to the base with their new families. So it's a great area for that. Um, and this one is being offered at $404,000 after a great price improvement. So the market is still really great. It is moving into a more neutral market, which is super healthy for real estate. So like the last house we just showed you, there are huge price improvements on a lot of homes right now. We're seeing seller paid closing costs, we're seeing you know, longer days on market and more inventory, which is great if you're a buyer because you have options. We can negotiate some of your costs to be paid for. And that is always, always a great thing when you're looking to purchase a new home. So again, this is a great area. Roy is a great area, really all of Roy for that starter home community fill. Most of your neighborhoods are quiet. This neighborhood is on a cul-de-sac. So it's only people driving that live here. And that's like a lot of neighborhoods in Roy. It's really family oriented oriented there's a lot of kids here a lot of families here but it's also a great place if you're older and looking to downsize because it's really quiet it's just got that nice community feel that we continue talking about when we talk about Roy Utah now that shows you what you can buy in the four hundred thousand dollar price point let's go check out the six hundred thousand dollar price point Right, guys so we are here at the second house here in Roy so this house is a little bit more of a move-up house so 
It's not really in that first home buyer price point. It is listed at about $630,000. Um, they are offering some closing costs, some seller concessions to help buy down those rates. So right now it really is you know, a good time for a buyer to get into this market. Um, Utah, just like we talked about on some other uh, videos, we were second in the whole nation for uh, growth and for you know, home prices going up. Boise was the number one. So we, we were like you know, seeing some crazy stuff. So again, right now it's kind of a breath of fresh air to kind of see um, some negotiation coming back in on that buy side. So um, again, this is a two-story house. It was built in 2000, about 2000, 2002. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths, just under uh, 2,800 square feet. So it is on the, uh, the higher end um, as far as square footage goes. Roy kind of has an average of square footage of about around 220, 240,000 or 240 a square foot is what we're seeing out here. So that's kind of your typical price point when you're out in this area right now. A lot of the homes, you know, are really around 3,000 square feet or less. All right. So another thing about Roy that's really cool is it has a lot of that old school, like mature uh, landscaping. So it's, it's older, right? We used to have a lot of farms out here. So as they've really been developing on that, um, we have seen, you know, a lot of our older trees. It does have that well-kept community. Everyone takes really good care of their lawn. One thing I did want to point out though, is as we've been walking around these areas, you might notice that uh, we have seen some drier uh, lawns going through. And I just wanted to point that out is a lot of people when they're in Utah, um, in Southern Utah, they expect it to kind of be desert, that red rock, right? Um, Northern Utah is still actually a desert. Um, we do have a lot more greenery than you would expect from a desert, but we are a desert. So we're experiencing a little bit of a drought this year. Um, really the last few years, it's been really hot. So today it's uh, 100 degrees today. It's a little bit hotter than normal for this time of year. It is July right now. And we don't usually experience that until um, usually like later in July or like mid August, right? So it's a lot hotter this year. We don't have as much water precipitation. Um, so we are seeing a little more of restrictions on water. So you are seeing a little bit of a uh, drier land. So um, we're going to just walk down this neighborhood just a little bit and we're going to show you some b-roll that's going to show you a little bit more of this neighborhood and then we're going to get after that next property so the next one we're going to be taking you to listen around the eight hundred thousand dollar price point so that will be kind of the higher end price point for roy utah so let's go ahead and get at it All right, guys, as promised, we are here at the Last Roy house. This house is in a more luxurious neighborhood, a little bit of an upgrade from the last one we saw. It's being offered at about 800,000. It does have an HOA that features a park, pickleball courts, tennis courts, a pool. So those are some nice amenities to have in this area. This house particularly was built in 1984. It's six beds, three and a half baths, a little over 4,200 square feet, so it is on the larger side. Like we talked about in that last neighborhood, that's more typical of like a move up, kind of a middle class area. This is a little bit more of a luxurious neighborhood. Um, it's bigger square footage, got a lot more space, a little bit more land, and it does have that HOA with all of those amenities. The nice thing about that is even though this is tucked away kind of in a little pocket of Roy on a quiet, nice little cul-de-sac, it still is close to a lot of conveniences. So we're about five minutes away from our freeway over here. Um, we're about that same distance to the local Harmons we showed you earlier. So you've got a local grocery store nearby. You've got Scooters, which is a local coffee shop here that people love. And so while it is in this nice, quiet neighborhood, you're still super close to all of those conveniences. And speaking of being super close, like we've talked about with these cities, Sunset, Layton, Roy, all of these cities that we're showing you that's close to the military base, one thing you can expect is to actually hear the jets. So they do exercises throughout the day. It's not consistent, but you can definitely hear them. So that's something to keep in mind if you are looking to move into this area, because we are so close to the base, you will hear those jets. Some people love them, some people hate them, just something to keep in mind. And now, since you've stuck around till the end, as promised, we're gonna go show you some of those beautiful Roy local restaurants.
All right, guys, as promised, we are here at Burger Bar and Roy showing you some of the delicious food. Like we said, they were featured on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Yeah, exactly. So this is really one of Roy's best staples and what they're really known for as far as local, local restaurants go. So they've been open since 1956. So they've really been serving Roy for over 65 years. They do have exotic meats and all that as well. So this burger, or I think the exotic meat of this month anyway, is rabbit and we've seen like something like crocodile and things like things like bison and all sorts of different exotic meats so um and i did notice just to not to interrupt but on the menu you can always actually get a buffalo or bison burger that is just part oh, of wow. the regular yeah, menu yeah so or i'm sorry excuse me buffalo or elk that is part of the regular menu but like sloan said the exotic meat of the month is rabbit yeah, definitely. So if you like burgers or want to uh, get that old school uh, diner fill, you definitely have to check out uh, their burger bar here in Roy, Utah. So Roy really is such a great location if you're looking to move around the Salt Lake area. It's centrally located near the Air Force Base and not too bad of a commute to Salt Lake. It's close to Ogden's downtown city life and Roy has got that nice quiet suburban feel that's really a great place to raise a family and if you love that community feel you're definitely going to want to add Roy to your list of cities to check out. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully you found our tour of Roy, Utah helpful. If you did, leave a comment below and let us know that you liked what you saw. If you live in Roy and there's something you really like about Roy that we didn't talk about, also leave us a comment and let us know. Again, Roy is one of the most affordable cities in the area to live in northern Utah. The median home value is around $465,000, median rent around $1,400, and the median income here is about $72,000. It's a little bit higher than other areas of Weber County because remember we have the base, we're close to Ogden, not too far away from Salt Lake, so it really is centrally located and we've got tons of different types of people moving and living here. Um, and price reductions in the last 30 days have been 32 homes. So again, great time if you're a buyer, nice time to do some of the no those negotiations that we love in this real estate business. If you're looking to purchase, we'd love to help you out. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to Roy and other cities in the Salt Lake area. Until next time, we're keeping it real. It's safe. Bye. See you guys.